this VECA is developed by University of VECA 2 and VECA is the software which is running in Java environment and VECA is that is OSDD is going to use the VECA for data mining purpose when you are using the VECA download the VECA from the site already I posted the VEC the site address to you download from the site and install in your system then in Becca you can see that there are four links one is explorer link experimenter knowledge flow simple CLI today I am going to talk about explorer click on the explorer this is the explorer as I said in the data mining class already uploaded in the YouTube I discussed about the pre-process in of data during the data mining so the VECA Explorer is using and this particular window is using for the pre-processing of data. For a training purpose, use an example data set which is already present in the VECA directory. For that you do one thing go to open file to go to my computer C drive program files you can see VECA 336 VECA 36 in that data if you are not seeing this examples there you should change the format it should be ARFF then only you can see this now several examples are given you can work with these examples I am selecting one example that is about weather I think it is the this one last but one weather open it when you are opening that uh, data data set it consists of several datas maybe and when you are opening it your interface will get loaded with that then you look first current relation what is current relation what is the name of the data set it is the weather how many instances are there 14 how many attributes are there? 5. In the Excel sheet, we can take an example from the Excel sheet. You see, here the rows are representing the instances of the data and columns are representing the attributes. Each row represents an instance and each column represents an attribute. And when you are considering A log P, that is an attribute. A log P to another attribute. And similarly, that is, you can see that N atom P, that is another attribute. So, in our data set of weather, in our data set of weather, it contains 14 instances and 5 attributes. What are these 5 attributes? These are the outlook is the one attribute. Temperature is the another attribute. Humidity is the another attribute. Windy is the attribute. Play is the another attribute. This data set is we collected from or uh, this data set is telling you that how a student is taking decision whether he want to play or not. There are a large number of uh, descriptors 
may be present in our data system. Large number of descriptors are present. These descriptors, among these descriptors, certain descriptors are more important and that will decide whether that molecule is druggable or not. For example, you might have studied about Lipinski rule of 5. In that molecular weight is very important. Molecular weight is an attribute. If the molecular weight is less than, lesser than 500, then only we will accept that lead candidate or hit candidate as a druggable candidate. Similarly, log p value is another descriptor, another quality, another parameter that will also decide whether that molecule is a druggable candidate. So come back to the Vekka. So we understood what is a, what is the what are instances, what are attributes. First of all, I am going to tell you that how can we construct a decision tree by using this Vekka Explorer. For that, you go to um, next one, classify. In the classify, you choose go to trees. Now we are going to build a decision tree. And I am going to take one algorithm that is J48 graft. You can select any. But it is the most simple one. That is why I am selecting this as a training. So J48 graft. You also select that. Now I selected it. J48 graft. And in test options, I am giving cross validation false 10 times. It is having importance in... Uh, data mining, that's how many folds you are doing this. If you want any reference, you go to Vekka Explorer site. In the documentation, there is PowerPoint is available. Also, a tutorial is available. In that tutorial, you can see why we are using cross validation. Now you loaded the data and also you selected which classifier is required in order to build the decision tree. So start, now it is started because the number of data are very less, the classifier worked properly, and now we got the result also. This is the result list, and this is the classifier output. Classifier output means everything about the calculations. Now I am reaching the result list. Go to the result list. Right, right click. You can see visualize the tree. You can visualize the tree. Now you see the visualize the tree. You see, in this tree, outlook is selected first. Humidity is the second one. And wind is also equal importance. How a student is taking the decision? If the outlook is sunny, then he will look for the humidity. Then if humidity is having certain range of values, then he will take the decision yes or no. Similarly, if it is windy, then the decision, if it is true, he will take the value, he will take the decision no. If it is false, he will take the decision yes. Just like doing the tree construction, you practice different algorithms and try to understand what will be the result when we are using different algorithms on a particular data set. Thank you very much.